What's good you guys? Welcome back to LaVita Lopez YouTube channel and I have some little tips for you. Well, some little info on how to get pregnant fast. So if you want to be pregnant by the end of this video, keep on watching. Alright, so this is just going to be a quick video. Um, there's really not a whole lot that I can say because once I tried this little method it was just like you know the heavens just opened up and said here here's your baby but no <laughs> um, I'm just being funny but I do have some info for you and let's go ahead and get into it the first thing that I want to say is I'm not a doctor and I know you guys have to know that by now like I'm not a doctor if it doesn't work for you, don't come on my channel and like bash me for it. So if you've tried everything under the sun and you just want to kind of see if this works, you know, don't take it too seriously where it's like, fuck it didn't work and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doomed, I'm never going to have any kids. Like, just try it. I mean, I don't know. I just gave it a whirl and this is the first thing that I tried as far as trying to get pregnant that wasn't going to have me spending all kind of money and everything like that so this is just something quick and uh, if it works for you great if it doesn't then I don't know maybe try going to the doctor seeing what's up but I'm not your doctor so don't say it didn't work for you and bash me for it I'm gonna start off with my little story we tried getting pregnant for about five months and it just it never happened and it was kind of discouraging that's not a very long time to be trying but it was a little discouraging because around that time everyone was getting pregnant like literally everyone in our family and um, within that group I'm one of the I think 10 or 11 women that were that conceived around the same time but I didn't know that I was gonna be that woman I don't know it's kind of hard to explain but I ended up being amongst the 11 I think that conceived around 2017 in 2017 but with that being said uh, it was a little discouraging but I decided to give this a whirl and what I did was I went on Amazon <laughs> Amazon is like the answer to everything nowadays so I went on Amazon and I bought this little package and it has ovulation test strips and it has pregnancy tests. I believe there's about 50 ovulation test strips and 20 pregnancy tests. And the reason why they give you so much is because you're going to be using a lot of ovulation test strips. And you're going to be using a lot of pregnancy tests because you're going to want to see if you're pregnant like every morning you're going to want to see if you've conceived. And that's why they give you so many. This is a bundle. This came together just like this, obviously with more in it because I did use some. And it was like $11. Like you can't beat that. $11 just to have hella pregnancy tests and ovulation strips. The ones at Walmart and the dollar store, those are cool. And I'm sure they work just as good. But as far as cost, you're gonna be using a lot of these. So if you wanna buy 20 pregnancy tests for a dollar each, it's like $20 plus tax. You don't want to do that. You want to get this because it was $11. Shipping was maybe like three or it could have been free. I can't remember. It was a while back, but um, you can Google it and check those out. But this is Diagnose. The brand is Diagnose, I guess. I don't know. There really isn't a brand for it. That's why it's cheap. And you don't need to spend $30 on a pregnancy test. Like maybe whenever you have used one of these and it says pregnant, then go out and get like a $30 one if you want. I think mine was like, I think I got like the two pack. Maybe it was, I don't know, five bucks, six, six bucks, something like that. I didn't spend a whole lot of money on these tests because you're going to be using so many. Buy those. And because you're going to be using these and you're going to want to use the ovulation test strips like every night, like every night. And I'll get into that in a minute and show you how I did it. But you're going to be using these or every day. You're going to want to keep these with you and go to Walmart or the dollar store and get these. These are just the great value, perfect for small drinks, three ounce bath plastic cups. That's what it says on it. So I guess these are for like when you take a pill, you pop it, get water, knock it back. That's what these are for. But 
I am not the type that just pees on a stick and let it splash everywhere. No, I peed in the cup first, then I dipped the stick in it, and that's how I got my results. I'm not peeing on a little ass stick, and I'll show you how small they are, because I don't want pee splashing everywhere. <laughs> like, that's not cool. So use these, and there's 100 cups. You don't need this many, but it's only, what, 88 cents, 98 cents, a dollar, something like that. So it's really not a loss when you buy these. If you're serious about getting pregnant and you want to try this method. This is how I kept a record of the ovulation because you do need a record and you need to be able to compare the test strips because they vary from color. Like they kind of fluctuate, you know. So I... This is a TMI video, so if you are grossed out by this for whatever reason, I don't know why you'd be watching this, but if you're grossed out, I don't know, stop watching, but period started 3, 4, 17. So that would be considered your cycle day one. So it's the first day that your period started. And then these, so you basically want to do it like every day to see how dark the line gets. because. I don't know if you can see that, but the line gets darker as you go down and you start ovulating. So you'll know when you're ovulating when the line gets darker. So there's a um, the test line and then just to make sure that the test strip is working. So there's a test line and then there's the second line that gets darker or lighter. So right here it's a little dark, but I don't that didn't mean anything. It needs to be like for sure dark. Oh, it's almost as dark as the actual uh, test strip line. So you have cycle day three, I was on my period, and then all the way down from 3-6 to 3-9, March 9th, I was on my period. And then after that, I wasn't. So March 10th, all the way down, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then it starts getting darker. So I thought that on the 14th, I was ovulating for some reason. So I just put baby dance, that's whenever you do it. And then cycle day 13, which was the 16th of March, that's, I feel like that's whenever I ovulated. And I think you have like so many hours to do it. So if you're ovulating, so say like you're ovulating today, you wanna do it today because I think sperm lasts in you for few, like hours or maybe like a couple days, I'm not sure. But you do wanna do it around your, um, your ovulation. So the best bet is to do it the day you see that you're ovulating. And it was dark down here too, but you really only ovulate for like, what, a few out like, you only ovulate for a short window like very very short and I think that's why a lot of women aren't getting pregnant like who, who don't have any health issues or health concerns they're not getting pregnant right away because they're not hitting that window and that window is very very short and thank God it is because there would be so many people on this earth if it was just like you're just ovulating for an, an entire month like every other month like no so it's a very short window that you have to get pregnant. Like I said, it was dark, but then, I don't know, I feel like I ovulated on cycle day 13, uh, March 16th. So that's how you kinda wanna do it. You could set up a little chart like this if you want. I don't know, it worked for me. And so out of those five months, it was like the fifth month I got pregnant. The first time I ever tried this, and this is my positive pregnancy test right here stuck it on a piece of paper just like the ovulation test the preg positive pregnancy test was 3 30 so march 30th at 9 20 a.m is whenever i took it and it came out positive now this can be misleading because it's a little faded but even a faded line a faint line is positive test so what i did was i went to walmart and i got the actual test and i took it and it came up brighter because as the day or as days goes on, hours go on, your uh, hormone levels and everything that says that you're pregnant, they just strengthen and that's what's gonna give you a darker line. 
So I tried that, I think, the next day, and it was darker and it was like straight up positive. I do recommend if you wanna keep the pregnancy test that you use to see like for sure that you're pregnant, like not with a little cheap one like this, but like it has a dark line and everything, um, like days after you've tried this method, then try getting the one that doesn't have the digital. Cause I'm not sure if the digital one stays saying yes or a positive, like a plus or anything like that forever. And with the one that has like the line, like the ink in it, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's basically like this, but it's inside of like a plastic thing. If you want to try that, I recommend getting that because you can keep it forever and it's like a little keepsake to say that, you know, you're pregnant for the first time or however many kids you have. But I decided to do that because I don't know if the digital one lasts forever. So if it does, leave that in the comment section. And I think this wraps up the video. If you have any other questions that I've missed or I didn't go over, go ahead and leave it in the comment section because you know I like talking to you guys. I get back to you guys ASAP. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I appreciate all the love that we get on our channel. Um, like and subscribe. Click that bell button for notifications. And we'll see you in the next video or vlog. Peace out.